Hey everybody, it's Brad. And I'm Krista. With the Big Family Homestead. And today is, what, the 4th? It is the 4th. Of the new year. Yeah. January 2019, people. And here's a scoop. I know we're coming at this a little bit late, but we wanted to do our meal planning for the month. Mm -hmm. We are committed to eating healthier. Yes. Now, when we say healthier, that does not mean we're going vegan or we're going to eat nothing but skinny, you know, like styrofoam food. It <laughs> means for us, it means nothing boxed with chemicals as much as we can do it. I mean, sometimes you got to bend the rules, but better eating. Right. Well, how that's how you design. Yes, yeah. that is how I would. I, that's how I would do it. Um, we don't follow, uh, and I know a lot of you do. And please don't be offended. Um, we don't follow keto or paleo or taekwondo, any of those <laughs> kinds of new fad kind of diets. Um, all we're gonna eat in moderation. Smaller portions. Smaller portions. We're actually gonna use smaller dinner plates. We have them, and we're going to start using them. And um, smaller spoons. You gonna? Get, we're gonna get some baby spoons. No, the ones that Ruth has for her Barbies. You just use the little Barbie spoons, <laughs> Take and a that way, to eat a meal. <laughs> that way you you don't eat that much. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> so um, that's the kind of diet. We're not cutting out any cream or milk or cheese or butter, potatoes. We're not cutting out butter, but we will cut back. back on the butter. And a lot of times what I like to do is use a little bit of butter for that butter flavor and then grapeseed oil. Yeah. So it's a really good combination. It's not all butter. Yeah. You know, so the bottom line for us is is natural lure ingredients. More natural. More naturalish ingredients. Smaller portions. Wow. And um and and also for this this thing, we're a big family. There's mm -hmm. there's seven kids here. Um two are away right now. Uh, but that means we got to be very cautious about how much money we're spending. Yep. Um because frankly, we don't have that much money. Nope. And even if we did, we'd still try to be as frugal as possible. Right. We're not, we don't buy frivolous on our groceries or anything like that. And we do have a lot in storage and we grow our own cows for beef. I we grow them right out of the ground. Steers, not cows. We're, we grow our own we're steers. Tending, we're getting the fields ready to grow our cows. Stop. <laughs> we raise our own pork and um, usually we raise our own chickens, but this pe past year we were not able to. This year we will certainly <laughs> This do year so. we will definitely do We were that. just talking about how much money it saves in chicken stock. Mm -hmm. But I digress. Yep. Let's move forward. The way we do this <laughs> is we map out the entire month. And, yep. the, and one of the reasons is we found that we spend a lot less money mm -hmm. on food. If you go out and you just... Um, you hit your Aldi store like once a month and yep. you get all your main things mm -hmm. and then you uh, only have to hit a smaller stores for like fresh stuff. Yeah. See, we have where we live in central Wisconsin, we are an hour away from our all from the Aldi store we like to go to. Um, mm -hmm. So we do that once a month and then we'll go to the local grocery store here in town and go and get our fresh veggies and things like that. Right. So uh, we know that there's going to be items on here that you, some gluten-free people are going to shake their head and go, I can't have that. Well, just feel free to substitute. Like, you know, the uh, get a spiralizer. If you like, because like we love spaghetti. Yes. And love. none of us are gluten-free, so it's not an issue for us. And as long as you don't eat a mountain of spaghetti, it's not that bad for you. Right. I mean, you're talking tomato sauce, good for you. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, you know, don't throw things at the computer. Just go get yourself a spiralizer and make your zucchini mm -hmm. spaghetti. Yeah. Or there's rice noodles. There's other op alternatives to um, for gluten-free right. noodles. So right, and we're gonna share some of the recipes that we have with you today as we go. Mm -hmm. um, so, but let's start out with the easy one. The easy one is the child pleaser is spaghetti. Right. You, right. You, we know we have to have it on there probably about three times a month. Yep. And when we when we do that, now one of the things you'll notice that Krista's gonna do is we'll try to balance out, you know, if there's a meat meal, try to put it next to either a meatless meal or something lighter uh, so that you don't have like heavy, heavy, heavy all in the same week. Right. Uh, and you don't have like things next to like things. 
Um, and oh, also, um, as unless unless you're going to be making a larger um, larger chicken or a larger roast, and then using those leftovers yeah. for something a, a few days later, which we do all the time. Right. Um, other things that are typical for us is we save our menus for usually, honestly, about two years. Mm -hmm. And that way, when you're planning out your meals you, and you hit a roadblock, you're like, I don't know. Right. Then you can go, oh, this, this was really great. Right. Um, and also, too, we, we, we gather up cookbooks and we have our own cookbook. And you'll hear us. We've got a bunch of recipes we're going to share with you from our cookbooks. Yep. Um, but we're always looking for new ideas because you know what? It tends to get stale. Right, you get what's called food fatigue, and you get it gets old. You know, you're you're having the same recipes month after month after month, and it's, it's like we need something new. Yeah, so we actually have brought out a bunch that we have just eyeballed and said, man, that looks mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. Even one from our friends in New Zealand. Yep, they mailed us some goodies, and this was one of them. And we're going to share a recipe with with you for that. Yep. And also, now we got this. A long time ago, when we were on a food assistance program, they mailed us this book, and it's all about eating healthy. And I've got, we've got some awesome dessert recipes in here that we're going to share as well. Yep. So, first of all, Mama, spaghetti it up. Go ahead and find three good spots. All right. Well, this is these days are over. Yep. Let's see here. Will you do that, and I'll explain okay. more about how we're doing what we do. Okay. Also, on Sundays, we typically don't have like a breakfast meal plan because we're going to church and things are busy. So it's usually you grab a bowl of cereal in the morning or a granola bar and a coffee for me or whatever, and we're out the door. And um, then when we come home, we have like a late lunch, early dinner, and we try to make that more family. It can be something that's a little more piddly or labor intensive to make. Right. Um, that is a typical thing we'll do. And um, you need I know, more, baby. I had I was frustrated with myself because I spelled spaghetti wrong twice. Spaghetti. <laughs> spaghetti. So I had to fix it and it was frustrating. What is spaghetti anyway? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Spaghetti. It's uh I don't know. White guy for don't eat too much pasta. Yeah, really? <laughs> so okay, we know we got spaghettis on there. Um, if you're, you know, concerned about meat or whatever, you can go meatless. It's not a big deal. True. Uh, in our cookbook, we've got a lot of different breads that Mama's very good at making. And you can make a nice French bread or an Italian bread for like 30 cents for a big one or two more family size. <coughs> yep. Um, other stuff that we automatically will put on there, baked potato bar. The mm -hmm. kids love that. Mm -hmm. You throw some baked potatoes in there. And this is literally all you have to eat. Uh, because you got your cheese is out, you can put out like a bunch of different, um, different toppings. Salsa, some leftover chicken, or if you don't want to do meat on there, um, broccoli, broccoli, steamed broccoli. Oh, um, yes. Chili. Chili. Oh, chili's really good on potatoes. Oh my gosh, Cholula hot sauce, the best. <laughs> and we got to pick some up today. Yeah, we're out. We ran out. We will let we we'll, we have tortilla chips and then a little bit of cheese and melt it. And then we put Cholula on it. That that's like our snack. A, that's <laughs> oh, excuse a me. yummy snack. <laughs> Got me all excited. <laughs> mm. Now here's another thing too. Well, you know what? Let's let's go through our normal thing. Okay. Okay. So did you get the uh, baked potato bar yeah. on there? I'm just I'm scanning stuff that we already automatically know we generally have. Um, quesadillas. We should put that on. Okay. We'll make that on a Saturday. Like a taco salad. We'll do like a taco salad or, um, it's not really a taco salad. It's either taco it, night. We call it Mexican mess. Just because it's whatever you want. It's, it's like, here's yeah. a bunch of stuff on the table. It's Latin. Have at it. Right. It's, you know, we've got tacos, shells. We've got chips. You can, you can use either one. There's ground beef, seasoned ground beef. Then there's, um... Tomato, or I make a pico instead of just using plain tomatoes. Oh, yes. We make a pico, which is kind of like a salsa. We'll tell them how okay. what it is. Pico is uh, fresh tomatoes diced really small, an onion diced really small, cilantro, um, diced up jalapeno peppers. Uh, I like the jarred ones a lot better than fresh ones. The they're just they're they have a bit more better more flavor, mm -hmm. better more flavor. Better move flavor. Better move, better move flavor. flavor. And then also garlic, salt, lime juice, and I think that's it. Okay. And it's just really yummy. 
Okay, um, grilled cheese and tomato soup night. Okay. And you could pick whatever soup you like. Oh, this is another thing, too. You go, do your thing. I know, I'm looking, I'm thinking. Um, consider the season you're in for some of the uh, meals you choose. Like, if it's the dead heat of August summer, you're not going to want to have five soups. Mm -hmm. But when it's 30 degrees below zero out, we're going to talk about some soups. All right. These are from our cookbook, and I think let's start out with a lovely, uh, where are my soups? Here we are, here we are, here we are. Lemon chicken orzo soup. Yeah, we really like this one. It's light. It's not a heavy soup. Yep. It's very flavorful. It is, it's delightful. Well, while you write it down, I'll tell mm -hmm. them some of the ingredients. Okay. And um, you obviously have some chicken. There's going to be chicken broth. Lemon, there is chicken stock, salt, pepper, a lot of um, different seasoning. There's small amount of carrots, mm -hmm. celery and onions, and a little bit of cream. And mm -hmm. it makes a, like you're saying, a light, zesty, awesome chicken soup that you've never probably had before. It's really, really good. It's, it, like I said, it's a very light soup. You don't feel Ugh. gross and full when you're done eating it. It's really, really yummy. Well, and, and with a with a soup like this, you are you would want to make maybe the, the, some of those small biscuits like the lobster... No, no, no. Lobster no, no. house. Artisan bread. Oh, yeah. Nice yeah. and crusty. Mm -hmm. You want that nice crusty bread. Yeah. Yeah. That's There's a video on that, and it's mm -hmm. super easy to make. Yeah. Okay, another one. Tortilla soup. Easy, easy, easy. Easy peasy. Um, that was really, really good. And actually, I'm going to put that on a Wednesday night. Because Wednesday nights are busy for us. Yep, because so. everybody's getting ready to go to church. Mm -hmm. And so tortilla soup is basically a bunch of canned vegetables. Yeah. <laughs> you've got corn, you've got diced tomatoes, you've got black beans. Um, we use our sasson. Mm -hmm. And um, pretty much that's, it's dump, 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 heat it up and it's really good. And it's you can really serve it with like a dollop of sour cream. Yeah, it's really tasty. Now... This is one that I have been itching to have for quite a while. French onion soup. Mm -hmm. French onion soup is so good. And um, the trick to a good French onion soup, you know, the, the bread on the top, you can go one of two ways. You can go croutons, which is nice, and you don't have to kind of Wait. break it up. Yeah, we've done that before. Which place. is great. Or use your old artisan bread mm -hmm. and leave it out for a few days. Right. What uh, mom used to do is she would tear it up into pieces and she would make breadcrumbs with it. Yep. But she would put it on a cookie sheet and as she turns off the oven, she would stick that cookie sheet in the oven and it would dry the bread out really nicely. And then she would grind that up in the next couple of days um, and make breadcrumbs. But that would be a great way to do the, to do the croutons. Yep. Now, uh, this one we didn't really talk about. Do you want to mention it? Oh, gnocchi soup is so good. This one's not the healthiest no, recipe. No, it's not. And it's got, um, it's a heavier, it's a milky uh, soup. So it's kind of a heavier. There's cream, yeah, it's, butter. Yeah. It's delightful. And, and it's all one word ingredients. It's not like mm -hmm. buy something out of a can. <laughs> no, no. It's, you know, onions and milk and I don't even know if there's, there's cheese in there or no. No, probably not. That would be unusual for us not to have cheese in the thing. <laughs> <laughs> Nutmeg is really, really yummy in there. Yeah. So. All right, other entrees. This one's pretty much a staple around here, mm -hmm. and that's arroz con pollo, which right. is chicken with rice. Right, that is, that's one of my <clears throat> favorites. What you got going there, sister? Also, <clears throat> we get asked a lot about, you know, we're, we're going to tell you just budget-wise, like we'll, we'll kind of look and see. Mm -hmm how much this is gonna cost us at the end of the month. But um, for breakfasts, we just, when we go to our Aldi's run, we get a lot of cereals and we have eggs that, you know, from coming out of our ears from yeah. the chickens. And um, oatmeal. Gar the kids you know, like grits. Oatmeal. Mm -hmm. We get all that kind of stuff. And it's, you know, around here, breakfast is serve yourself. So mm -hmm. if you want a hot meal, make a hot meal. Right. Um, we do have, um, we do breakfast burritos once in a while and the kids will like those. And if I make pancakes, I always make a lot more and then we stick them Freeze in the them. freezer and the kids can pull them out and actually we just stick them in the toaster. If they're yeah. small enough, we stick them in the toaster. Yep. Yeah. So. Here's another recipe. This one you can tweak if you feel like there's too much cream, but it's one of mama's favorite recipes of all time. 
and that is the creamy sausage and tomato pasta. What you got? You got basically kielbasa, you know, beef sausage, or if turkey's your thing, get turkey sausage. Um, but you've got bow tie pasta, and then there's diced tomatoes, onions, cream, garlic, parsley, Parmesan cheese, red pepper flakes, and it is yummy. It is so good. It's fast, <laughs> it's easy, and it's very frugal. Oh my goodness, it is a very good deal. Yeah, that yeah. meal is easily five bucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay, here's another one, and we're actually going to do a recipe video of this one coming up, and that is chicken paprikash. Chicken paprikash. We'll do that one tomorrow. Why don't you uh, describe for them what chicken paprikash is? Chicken paprikash is a Hungarian dish, right? Yes. Um, mm -hmm. It has a lot of paprika in this dish, and we make it in a pressure cooker. Um, you could bake it. You could do slow cooker, even. Um if you have an instant pot, this would be perfect for that. Um, I think I might, I don't know, I think I might want to try and bake it this time. Oh, no. Why mess with something that's really, really good? Well, for a video, it's kind of hard to do a pressure cooker because <coughs> a pressure cooker is, it's tricky. <laughs> no. Very tricky. It's, but, it's about getting your temperature right and making sure that the, the, the pressure inside is right. Is right. right. You can't, you can't walk away from it. That would be yeah. very unwise no. and dangerous. Right. Well, and it's a very fast meal. I mean, your, your meal is prepped and done within 20, 25 minutes. It's so, all about getting that canner to the right temperature exactly. because mm -hmm. you basically throw everything in there. You've got onions and potatoes and some peppers, not, not hot peppers, but like yellow and red Sweet peppers. Pepper. Yeah. You've got your chicken and your chicken broth. Some seasoning and you know chicken thighs are great, and then you basically have all that done while you're boiling up some noodles, maybe some wide egg noodles. Mm -hmm. All that goes into a bowl because it's a little bit soupy, mm -hmm. and then uh, slap some sour cream on there, and you are off to the races. Delightful! Mm -hmm. It's a party in your mouth. We're gonna use yogurt this time. <laughs> we'll make we'll make sour cream. Okay, recipes from our book are managed right. now. Yes. All right, did you get all those on there, baby? Yep. <coughs> all right, what else we got? Um, I got the baked potato bar. Oh, duh. This one is as healthy as you want to make it. Pizza. Oh, yeah. Kids pizza. love the pizza. We do it from mm -hmm. completely from scratch. Yep, we make the sauce, we make the dough. Okay, well, we don't make the cheese. Mm. Okay, it's yet. We can make the cheese. It's just easier to find. It is a hassle. Right. So, um, but yeah, everything is is from scratch. The sausage it comes from our pigs, and it's mm -hmm. it's really yummy. So we need to have that on there at least twice a month, yeah. or else there is rioting. There, the kids, yeah. you know, they get out the pitchforks, and it's like you know Frankenstein's coming. You know, it's not a good scene. No, it's not. Not a good scene. Also, we like to have family movie night, mm -hmm. and when we have family movie night, that means that we've got a little table that the kids bring out so that they don't grind food into the carpet, mm -hmm. and so it needs to be fingerish food. Mm -hmm. Like for example, last night we had chicken wings. Yep. Now. Chicken wings, there's nothing wrong with it unless you just decide you want to put a gallon of ranch dressing on there. Right. <laughs> Actually, I was probably the one who ate the healthiest. No, because I had blue cheese. Because all I have is the Frank's buffalo hot sauce on my wings. There's nothing else. Isn't there oil in that? I think there's butter in that. I strain it off real good. Mm. Real good. Real good. So, well, and you I could had... bake them if you wanted. You could bake them. I had made um, the garlic parmesan um, dipping sauce, mm -hmm. and that's pretty, well, no, not healthy, never mind. Ha, <laughs> okay. <laughs> now, this might sound expensive, and it would be if you don't have the ability to raise your own meat, but we have that ability, and so believe it or not, steaks for us are very cheap. Yeah. We, Even good cuts. Yeah, very good cuts. Uh, when we raised our cow, it ended up being about a dollar a pound. And that's considering prime ribs, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we have, like, six of them left. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we had two for we Christmas. We had two for Christmas. We shared really some, yummy. yeah. yeah. Um, so, but, you know, I'm in the mood for a nice beef roast. What about you? I can do that. <coughs> I can do this. And when we say beef roast, then she's going to say pot roast. No. 
You love because pot roast. I do love pot roast, but I know how to make a regular beef roast now, remember? It was so good. It's been really delicious. So do well, you and here's here's the Sunday? key. Yeah, that's fine. We I, I there's a channel that that I watch. Mama doesn't really like it so much because she doesn't like the guy's voice, no. but I think it's actually very unique and that's Food Wishes. Yeah. I get a lot of great ideas from him. Um, and his Chef John. I'm Chef John. And you never see him. Every once in a while you'll see a hand. But um, this is the best way to deal with it. If you got a hunk of meat that's beef, okay, beef, and this is how he says to do prime rib, has to be bone in uh, and it has to be tied, okay? Well, we cut the bone off and then tie the bone back on. Right, but all it is is use math, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. It has to be at complete room temperature. You gotta leave it from the night before to whenever you're gonna start it. Right. And it's basically uh, the exact weight of that, the exact weight of that piece of meat mm -hmm. times five minutes. Mm -hmm. And you put it in the oven at 500 degrees for that long and then you shut it off. And you leave Don't it. open the oven. Nope, don't touch it. And then what, how much longer was it? You leave it for two hours. And then it's perfect. It's perfect. Perfectly pink. Yes. Unbelievable. It's delicious. Anyway, I digress because I'm thinking of delightful meats. Um, how about... I know what we're having for dinner tonight. What we're having, a roast? Steak. Steak. <laughs> we'll put it on the meal plan. All right. Yeah, and so when you think, oh my gosh, you're having steak, well, we'll have what? Well, some like roast, oh, the roast we, vegetables. We don't have we don't have steak all the time. Very rare. Because we want that, that meat to last us all year. Yeah. Um, until our next year is ready to go to the butcher. Right. But um, we will have it twice a month. You know, we don't have steak every yeah, week. Yeah, it's every probably, week have it's it a probably lot, twice. We could have it as much as we want. But right. We just, we don't. It's not that healthy. No. Well, it's healthier than, well. Well, a grilled piece of meat is not that bad, as long as you're no. not eating big hunks That's of fat. Like that, yeah. So let's do our roasted vegetables tonight, because I was itching for that. He was itching oh, for no, roasted no, no. vegetables, but I had found a recipe for garlic rubbed roasted cabbage steaks. <laughs> I'm excited about so that. So you take a head <coughs> of cabbage, and you just slice it, where you got nice, thick like slices. one inch slices. Right. You, so it's the whole ring. Like, you season it with, you put your oil, drizzle your oil on there, season it with salt and pepper and some garlic, and you bake it at a high temp. Oh, so, man, that, that does yeah. sound good. Mm -hmm. That sounds real good. Um, and then maybe some kind of noodly thing. Okay. Anyway, okay. So, oh, duh. This is something we pretty much do all the time, and that's why I forgot about it. Salad. Salad and bread. Salad, yep. That, but, salad that goes on a... at least three times a month. Yep. And um, the way that we do this in terms of scheduling mm -hmm. is we'll put one close to when we make the meal plan. That way everything's fresh and mm -hmm. you're not worried about it going bad. But then we'll set aside some money for our fresh vegetables for, you know, later in the month. Right. Well, we're also growing some downstairs. We are. Yes. We have a vertical gardening system that we're going to share with you. And Mama saw this morning because we put it together three days ago. Yeah. Okay. And we got little bitty lettuces little, now. Little, they're like this big. Yep. I'm so excited. Fresh greens. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you into a tizzy now. Already? What? Fish tacos. <laughs> she has been itching for fish, but the problem is most of it is coming from China. An area of the world where they feed it human waste. Mm -hmm. So <sighs> it's hard. Because we love it. We love fish, but I will not feed that to my family. Um, and with it being so cold here, we can't... I have a plan, baby. We can't grow it. I have a plan. Oh, do you have a plan? Their okay. husband is a devious genius. Yeah, devious, definitely. So Be watching in the near future for fish growing and okay, and, I, and I'll be very blunt and honest. I'm very picky about fish. It can't be fishy. It cannot taste fishy. So salmon is out 
Walleye is out. And you, I can hear your screams, salmon is out, why? Yeah, exactly. It's not that fishy. I love mahi-mahi, but oh my goodness, it's expensive. So we, if, if we ever buy it, we'll buy it for fish tacos and we'll buy this much. I have been studying because, the ways of growing fish. Because it has been, it, because it will la it will stretch. You just need a oh, little bit. Mahi-mahi, I'm getting chills. This is ridiculous. <laughs> With fat guys getting chills thinking about a meal we had a long time ago mm -hmm. at Carrabba's. Oh my goodness. If you guys have the Carrabba's chain of restaurants, it's, it's pricey, now. but it was good. It was so delicious. And they had this roasted, buttered, I don't want to, oh, yes, so it was delightful. Anyway. Okay, here's another one that we would normally put on for the summer, but we're not, and that is caprese salad. However, I found an alt a, a version of caprese salad that is a pasta. Oh, did you? I did. So it looks really nice and it's light and not heavy. This seems, still seems like a... That's uh, a side. It's not, yeah. it's not a main thing. I mean, thing. here, we'll show you. It still, still seems like the kind of thing where it's going to be more summery. Right. right. You know? But that's... I Trust me. I'm in. Um... <laughs> So, okay. Okay. So, do you want me to put caprese salad on a different night, or I do you see, want me to add it where? Okay. Our salad. Soapbox are. moment, people. The lifeless pink pale orbs they sell in the store and call them tomatoes are not actually tomatoes. They're sin. They're they're condensed sin that they want you to buy and consume. <laughs> they're grown in a hot house and they just lack a lot of flavor. I can't do it. It's really hard. I mean, it's it's bad enough we have to make pico out of that nonsense. Yeah, I have to add a lot of flavor to that. Yeah, we need we need cilantro for our vertical garden. I know. Today we're buying we're buying the seeds today. I have seeds. I just have to put them in there. <laughs> All right. We need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, eight really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, this one. This one from New Zealand. This you know you get the little. Um, this one came Booklets. from Campbell's, and and we've never had this, and this looks really, really good. Penne, chorizo, and tomato bake. Right, and you know how much of a big um, stickler stickler I am for using canned items. The only thing canned in here, in this particular recipe, is chicken stock. Yeah. So that's an easy one. Um, another one is you know. Um, where they use cream of mushroom soup. No. I just make my own. I know ow, how ow, ow. I know how to do it and so that might that should be another video, honestly. Okay. But that one's gonna penne. make its way. Penne chorizo and tomato bake. Okay. What's in here guys? You've got penne pasta, a little bit of olive oil, chorizo chunks, um, onions, garlic, cherry tomatoes, excuse me. Um, all the usual sub suspects and then some soups and flavor. And cheddar cheese on the top. Now, all one word ingredients. I like that. So I'm going to write down here New Zealand book so that I don't forget, forget where that recipe came from. <laughs> Here's another recipe that you found that I think would be great if we can find the right fish. Right. This is another recipe that our friends in New Zealand sent. Um, some Just some really light you know meals that it's really you know you're full but you don't feel gross when you're yeah. done eating. Yeah. And this is a lemon parsley fish with Greek salad. Now I would never put a fish over the top of salad. I would put it off to the side. Um, but this just really But the looks salad is it's like just a bunch of stuff. Right. It's not like here's lettuce and ranch dressing. Right. The funny thing is, is there's a lot of things that they have in New Zealand. I don't know what they are. Ah. Um, they call now I have looked them up. I'll Google them and um, they have on here two small green capsaicums. What is that? Capsaicin isn't that? Capsaicums is a pepper, I believe. Well, I, that would, I mean, knowing the roots of words, if that must be a hot pepper. I don't know. Because capsaicin is the, the stuff in peppers that makes it right, hot. Right, right. So I, will ha I have to Google those things. Mm -hmm. And if we don't have that particular item, I have to, you know, use an alternative. Okay, but. Mama, here's one that's, this yeah. is a comfort food for me. Now, you could, make, you could argue that this is not very healthy, and you might be right, but it's comfort food for me. Okay. Hamburger gravy oh over God. the top of mashed potatoes. It is not a healthy I love meal. it. I can't help it. I know. Well, once in a while, fine, but 
Not all the time. So you need to put that down. I will. I Look will, for a good spot. Maybe on the opposite side of the French onion soup. Or after fish tacos. Okay. There we go. Uh, here's one that you like that we haven't had in quite a while. Right there, this guy. All right. No. No? No. See, okay. I was going to suggest tuna noodle casserole. Right. And that's okay. I'm just not a huge fan of warm tuna fish. But it was always your idea. I know. <laughs> that's a funny thing. I mean, I can do it. I can make it. And it's okay. It's just, it's not my favorite. I would, I would uh, use chicken instead of tuna. You want to tell them about this new recipe you want to try? Uh, yeah, there's many different ones that I want to try. Well, this one's a, a, a pork loin roast, honey tarragon glazed pork, ro pork loin roast with veggies. Yeah. So mm -hmm. it's got an, an interesting honey tarragon, mm -hmm. uh, a little cider vinegar, Dijon mustard in that kind of a thing. And then you put that on top of the pork loin and roast that. That's something new we're going to mm -hmm. try. We'll let you know how that goes. Yeah. This book is great. And if we can find it, if I find a link, we'll put it in the, the thing down below. But this is called the Farmhouse Cookbook. And look at the size of that joker, guys. And this is all recipes like we like. It's not like a can of this, a box of that. Um, and, I mean, everything from, like, how to make Amish ketchup. tomato ketchup. And it, it's got a lot of cool stuff in it, like Stories. we have in our cookbook. Like, mm -hmm. what happens at an Amish, you know, um, auction Stuff like that, but I found a recipe that I feel like we gotta try, and that's Mary Navarette's garlicky chicken enchiladas. <laughs> and um, you know, you've got a there's chicken. It's a three part kind of a enchilada. You got the chicken, which is all the usual suspects. There's a sauce that looks great. There's jalapenos in there, onions, garlic. Uh, cilantro and then you know tortillas and you put it all together and you make enchiladas and so we're gonna try that one out um, oh my gosh you know what we're gonna make with that <laughs> sorry had a moment what, what was the name of that restaurant chain in Cincinnati that was the Spanish food that had the um, that jalapeno creamy jalapeno sauce Chewy's Chewy's yeah Google their creamy jalapeno sauce. Mm -hmm. It is silly. It's like ranch right. dressing, but it, with... Well, it actually, I think it has ranch dressing in it. Yeah, we got to figure out a way to make a knockoff without the ranch. ranch dressing. Yeah. All right, we need three. Three, that's it? Two Wednesdays, so they got to be easy. Fasts. Yeah. And then I want to share some uh, desserts. I, I want this. That's not a Wednesday. Next. That's a Sunday. We've got a Sunday and two Wednesdays. Did this come from New Zealand? Yes. Another one that came from New Zealand that I have actually been itching to try. Classic mince. And cheese pie. Mince. So mince meat, I'm guessing. I, well, yeah. I, I'm trying to figure out, okay, they have 500 grams of beef mince. Is that diced beef? Is that ground beef? I have to Google that. So right. however they, 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 they just term things different than we do here in the States. So I I am not scared of this, and the, you know I watched this um, baker the British baking show, uh -huh. and they do this hot water crust. Oh, it, it looks, looks so really good. good. So it's another thing I want to try. Okay, suggestion, <clears throat> uh, and this one is easy. You can manipulate this recipe however you want. Um, just stir fried rice. Yeah, the kids love it, and you can take whatever you had, whether you had like you know. If you after the pork, after yep. you roast your pork, mm -hmm. then you can cut some of it up. You can make it with whatever you got laying around. And um, the trick, we used to make mush until we figured out the trick to yep. making good stir fried rice. And that is hot. It's got to be hot. No, 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 no. The rice has to be day old. Oh, the and rice cold. has to be. Yeah, you make the rice the day before. And put it on cookie sheets. In the fridge. In the refrigerator. Lay it out in the cookie sheets. Kind of make it a nice thin layer. And have it cold. And it works perfect. Yep. And then you're 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 right. And the, 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 the pan wok. has to be hot. The wok has to be hot. Yep. So, okay. Um, two Wednesdays. So it's got to be fast. Two Wednesdays. Mm -hmm. Can we swap something out? No. No? No. Okay. Skyline. Okay, 
in Cincinnati, there's a restaurant chain called Skyline. And we're our version of Skyline is not what they make. No. But the way the best way I can describe it is it's not chili, mm -mm. even though they call it chili. Right. And it's not spaghetti, even though it looks like spaghetti. Right. You have spaghetti noodles, but then you have a different version of a different recipe of Skyline chili of chili. Chili. And there's chocolate and cinnamon nutmeg in there mm -hmm. yeah it's it's not it's very sweet, different but it's it's a different flavor our and then so what we do is we well, take well you gotta tell more about skyline oh it, you you go into the restaurant and you sit down and they slap 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 together everything's already made yeah and it's fast you, yeah. you sit down and you're eating within five minutes right it's but you get what they call a three-way four-way or a five-way mm -hmm. and so you've got the noodles. You've got the noodles. The three-way is noodles, chili, and cheese. Then a four-way is noodles, chili, cheese, onions, cheese, and onions. And then a five-way is with is all of those with beans. And the cheese is part of the reason why people love it. It's super finely grated, like super finely grated, and it comes and it's like this big. It's a huge mound. But you don't. It's really not that much cheese. No. It's just super finely grated. Mm -hmm. But our Skyline is like a five-way, but we use a Texas-style chili. Right. We have a Tex Texas style. And so. it's fast, and we usually have it already pressure canned up. Yep. We don't have to make the chili. We just heat it up. Right. So we've got, we boil our noodles, we heat up our canned chili, and then we have cheese, and we're done. So it's really yummy. Okay. Wednesday. Wednesday. I'm, I'm going to go with a, we live in Wisconsin, so I think... We'd be breaking the law if we didn't have brats at least once a month. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. And that one's not the healthiest, but we'll eat no. a... We'll eat a... But it's only once a month, so... We'll eat a root or eat some root. twigs and barley. I don't know. <laughs> so, okay. Looking okay. at this meal plan, I'm going to guess because we have our own meats, mm -hmm. except for like the chicken. brats. Brats, chicken, um... We've got all our Fish. beefs, porks, that sort of thing. I would guess that this meal plan, if we had to buy everything except the meats we have, I'm looking at 350 bucks. If that. Maybe. I mean, that's with buying fish. Because fish is not fish, not the cheap. chicken. Oops, I spilled my hand. And keep in mind, guys, that's feeding uh, seven people. Mm -hmm. Seven people for the whole month. Yep. And I'm not exaggerating when I say that, because if you went through and go, okay, well, yo, no way, Brad, but how could pizza be that cheap? Mm -hmm. Well, the dough, if you make it yourself, costs you less than Pennies. 40 cents, 30 cents. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know? Yeah, and I mean, we, we buy a bigger bag of mozzarella cheese, um, and then we we freeze it out. We, you know, take use it we use what we need, and then we freeze the rest. So that, that lasts us a good month, month and a half. Unless yep. we're having lots of chips and cheese. Oh, I almost <laughs> forgot. Recipes. Oh, yeah, the, the desserts. Yeah, before we go. Now, we'll just blow through these real quick. But this looks really great. It's just stuffed cantaloupe. cantaloupe. Mm -hmm. What you've got is cantaloupe, cottage cheese, crushed pineapple, and crushed pecans. pecans. Mm -hmm. And you whip that all together and spoon it out. That looks delightful. Next. I don't care for that, but... What? I don't like cottage cheese. You won't even taste it. I still don't like You cottage. will not even taste it. I don't it. like crushed pineapple either. Try that. Okay. Pocket peach pies. You use tortillas, peaches, not canned peaches, fresh peaches, cinnamon, sugar, nutmeg, and a little bit of milk and some sugar, which is optional. And then you just, you, you bake it. You, you could, you could make it. There. Yeah, well, you, yeah, you could make that like that, mm -hmm. or you could even, uh, if you have one of those um, quesadilla makers, <gasps> you could just smash it together, and that way everybody gets a little corner. Oh, yeah. Oh, so there's That's one more idea. that was really good, and this is like super simple, easy stuff, mm -hmm. guys. Yep. It's just watermelon and yogurt. Watermelon, yeah, water, a, a slice of watermelon, vanilla yogurt, or blueberry yogurt, or both. And yeah. all of those things know, nice. are healthy for you, and there's a lot of flavor in them. Mm -hmm. And you know what we could do? Oh, my gosh. would be even better is take your yogurt, mm -hmm. hit it with a little bit of honey, mm -hmm. and then um, our Thrive blueberries mm -hmm. yeah. because they're freeze-dried, mm -hmm. so they'll stay maybe even a little bit of a crunch to oh, them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They're really good. Yeah, if we just didn't rehydrate them. Mm -hmm. 
So that's it, guys. Yep. This is this is what we do. This is our process. Yep. And when we get off our process, what happens? We spend more money. A lot more money. Mm -hmm. Usually double. Yeah, it's really crazy because... Well, what are you in the mood for? Uh, well, let's go shopping while we're hungry. Yeah, yeah no, that bad idea. idea. So we're it's January fourth. We're gonna start fresh. Let the pounds go running away. Right. <laughs> so anyway, that's it. I'm Brad. I'm Krista. You guys have an amazing and blessed day. Mm -hmm.